Okay, so this is the last night of Palfest 2010, the third time that Palfest has come to Palestine, and we are very, um, <clears throat> we're very happy, we're very moved. Um, we've now been here six days and nights. We've been to, we opened up in Jerusalem, as I'm sure many of you um, know and have been here. Hello, hi, hello. And uh, we went on, we've been in Nablus, We've been in Jenin, we've been in Al Khalil, and in Ramallah, and Beit Lahm, and back again to Jerusalem. And I'm happy to report to you that the Palestinian people in all these places are alive and well and kicking ass. <laughs> so what we're going to do tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are going to do our usual thing, which is to present you with a very short reading from some of the participants in Palfest, which would be of words that are not their own. So each one would have chosen for you a tiny extract of something that they would like to leave behind here in Jerusalem. Just a few lines from Taha Muhammad Ali. I had never heard of him before this trip, and I saw his name on the schedule, and I thought if we're going to be celebrating him, I should probably read his work. So I got a book of his selected poems that I loved, and then I read a biography, a very beautifully written, um, moving biography by Dina Hoffman about his life. And I'm just reading uh, a little short fragment from his poem, Twigs. And what I wanted to say is I have seen so many inhumane things to this week, and to me, like, the greatest value is to be humane. And I feel that in his poetry and in Grace's work, you just feel this sort of like, breathing humanity. And um, so here are the lines from Taha Muhammad Ali. And so, it has taken me all of 60 years to understand that water is the finest drink and bread the most delicious food and that art is worthless unless it plants a measure of splendor in people's hearts. This is from uh, Raymond Williams, also writing in the 1950s, who in his essay, Culture is Ordinary, writes, We must emphasize not the ladder, but the common highway. For every person's ignorance diminishes me, and every person's skill is a common gain of breath. And I think you can see from my standing here that I've not been diminished this week at all. <laughs> I'm going to read a poem by Naomi Shahab Nye. The poem is called Kindness. I'm actually nervous reading from a paper because I memorize all my spoken word poems so my hands don't shake. But uh, this is called Kindness. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go, so you know how desolate the landscape of kindness between the, how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian and a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake with sorrow. You must speak it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then, it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to mail letters and purchase bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crown of the world and says, it is I you've been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere, like a shadow or a friend. So I'm going to read uh, sentences and ideas and thoughts that were said to me this week, or that I heard, overheard, was told, and people I met. So I'm giving back to you what you gave to me. And I just finished it. And actually, this is not going to be part of this piece. The first sentence is, 
what is the purpose of your visit? That's not part of this. I distrust symbolism. <coughs> my name is Yasmin. I love my name. Samuni Rahma, Bakrah Ismi. When in Rahma, where is your husband? This is the silent wall. Ahsan, Alhamdulillah. I try to write, but the words are behind a, a, a wall. Lazim Zuri in me. Inti Amerikaniya Jayat Kharbili Tullah. What is important here is the apricots. When Josek, Talabuni, you are American. Akhaduni, where is your Huiya? Masakuni, Bidi Ashuf al Dinya. Intu Trupuk Tiju, what to do about Gaza? Ma Kasaruni, Pastabane. See you next time. Diamond, inshallah. Aska knafe. Bazabti hawajbek. Ismirami. Anabisan. I am Palestine. Is this your first time? You get used to it. Ana sumud. Shajar ahli. My mother's river. El shayb ayb. Zakati ismi. Don't buy Israeli products. I am poet too. Those settlements are new. Ah. La. Have you changed one mind with your poems? Minna fina. Bithisi halak Palestinia? I am African. Cameras there, there, and here. Will you come back, miss? Yalla yakhti imshi. Ma'nuba wila mahshi. Bandora wila laba. My language broken too. I draw myself. We hope our children. We hope our parents. Haduhu. It is worth it. Anna, I will never leave. 